Alright guys, so today I have a really, really cool and interesting video for you today. So, as you can see, it's going to involve this key switch. It's going to involve this duct detector. And something really cool, it's going to involve my panel. So you can probably already tell that this is going to be a really interesting demonstration. So let's get started. So let's start with this duct detector. The model of it is SL-2000-N and it is made by a company called Air Products and Controls. It's actually a really great company I think. So what is a duct detector? So a duct detector is basically a very special type of smoke detector that is meant to be put in for ducts. So you know those big tubes that flow air through a building? Um, it basically has a tool, tube um, that kind of looks like that, and that little tube goes into the duct, okay, and you see those little holes on it? It sucks air through those holes and then puts it into the duct detector, okay? And then once it's in the duct detector, um, you can see it goes, the air goes through the smoke detector and then goes out that other kind of hole back into the duct right there. And so it's basically a way for air to get, flow through the duct detector and back into the duct um, to check if there's smoke or anything. So now you're probably thinking, all right, that's cool. So what else is there? So you know how duct detectors can be like in walls, um, like on 90 foot ceilings and everything, and how most buildings require a yearly fire alarm inspection. Some buildings such as like a huge Kroger or, or Walmart can have like 50 or 100 of these duct detectors. So, you don't want your installer climbing up on a 100-foot ladder and testing each and every one of them. That can get dangerous and it'll just take a long time. So you need a way to test the duct detector. And what everybody has invented is this, a duct detector key switch. So this is just simple. All this does is test the duct detector, but from down here. So you can see there's a normal and a test reset switch. All you have to do to test the duct detector with this is put the key in and turn it to test. And then this strobe will turn on, saying that the duct detector is an alarm. And then the duct detector, um, the wires go all the way up into the duct detector. And that puts the smoke detector and the duct detector in alarm. And then that tests the duct detector. Now, like this demonstration, suppose it's hooked into a panel. So this is what, I'm going to show you what will happen if it's hooked into a panel. So what happens is the duct detector sees smoke, the little red LED in that smoke detector will turn on, and so will a red LED turn on down in there. Okay, and then it will send a signal to the key switch telling it to go into alarm. So the key switch's strobe will start flashing, and that green light right there will turn red. Spontaneously, it will use a, one of these wires, this wire, to tell the panel that, hey, I just went into the alarm, and then the panel will do its verification process, and then all the fire alarms in the building would be going off. In this case, I have all the NACs disabled except for the strobe NAC on this, so you will see that strobe flashing as a demonstration. So here we go. So we're going to pretend like we're a fire alarm inspector and testing the system, and uh, to test it, we just put the key in and turn it to test. So here we go. Okay, see how everything just went into alarm there? Red LED is on. Going over, that strobe is flashing. And I have the panel thinking it's a pull station. I haven't played around with the settings yet, so that's why. I can silence that. I think I already did. Um, so the panel's in alarm, and you can't silence this. Uh, yeah, so putting this back into normal condition is sort of like resetting a pull station. Because if I leave this in test mode and reset the panel, then it'll just all go back into alarm again. So turning it back puts it into normal condition. So that's turned back into normal condition, and you can reset the panel now. So now I'm going to demonstrate doing a manual test from the duct detector. So suppose there isn't a key switch, but you still need to test the duct detector. Right in there is a little button, and it basically trips it. 
So what will happen is I will test it. It will go into alarm. The second I unrelease the button, this will stop going into alarm because the duct detector doesn't think there's an emergency anymore. But since it's already tripped the panel, the panel will stay on and the panel will stay in alarm. So here we go. Let's go ahead and do a manual test from the duct detector. Three, two, one. The panel just went to alarm. See, once I release it, the piezo stops. Yep. And the panel went into alarm. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is physically trip the duct detector in to alarm by using solo smoke so the duct detector think that there's it thinks that there's an actual fire. So to do that we're just gonna unscrew um, the little cover here. And that just, um, flies off. And uh, you can see the little light in there is blinking. Any second now, there it goes and it just blinked. Um, so we're just gonna spray some solo a4 smoke in there so it thinks that the duct is smoky. So here we go. Alright guys, I'm going to show you one more test here, and there's nothing different about this test except for the fact I do not have the NACs disabled on the panel. So now I'm going to be showing you the fire alarms and the bell going off. The fire alarm and the bell going off. So now when the uh, uh, duct detector trips, there will actually be an alarm. So, and I'm going to be testing it by using Solo. So here we go. In three, two, one. So yeah, everybody. That was the long demonstration of the duct detector. I thought it was really cool. Um, I really hope you learned something about duct detectors and duct detector key switches. Um, ISA, um, I don't know if you saw in the unboxing video I did, but they gave this to me for free, so that was really nice of them. Um, I thought they, they probably thought that uh, I would enjoy making this type of video, and I have. This is really cool. So, thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. We will test it one more time, and have a good day.